Welcome parents. Um, if you're watching this, uh, your student is signed up for peer mentoring, which we call the Lynx program at Rochester Adams High School for fall semester 2020-2021. Welcome. A few introductions. In the ASD program, we have a wonderful crew of ancillary support. We have Christy Burke, who is our speech therapist. Michelle Wilcox is a social worker. Kristen Neuer is OT. Kelly Zazekis is PT. Angie Warrenson is the school psychologist. Jenny Wardell is the ASD TC. Carrie Marchand is the Adams TC. And Janae Hayes is the RCS basic classroom supervisor. And then we also have some wonder par wonderful paraprofessionals, Ms. Lacey, Ms. Eggert, Ms. H, and Ms. Damon. A little bit about myself. Um, I have a bachelor's degree in elementary education, a master's in special education with a focus in autism spectrum disorders. I have endorsements in integrated science, mathematics, and ASD. This is my third year at Adams. Um, I am married to Mr. Birch, and we have three kids. Olivia is 12, Mason is nine, and Landon is eight. Um, my hobbies include traveling with my family, biking, pizza movie Fridays, and college football Saturdays. We're also doing a lot of home improvement and remodeling projects right now. All right, and I'm Mrs. Perkins. I have a bachelor's in elementary education and emotional impairments. I have my master's in special ed. I have endorsements in autism spectrum disorder. Um, I'm beginning my 16th year of teaching in an autism basic classroom um, or a center program. My hobbies include uh, biking, walking trails, going to the movies, traveling, spending time with my family and friends. I'm married to Mr. Perkins and with four daughters. Um, I have three in college. One is a junior at Grand Valley. Um, I have a freshman at U of M, Olivia. Alicia is a freshman at Calvin. And I have Janie, who's an 11th grader at Rochester High School. And my favorite spot is South Haven, Michigan. All right, I just wanna talk a little bit about autism spectrum disorder. Um, in our classroom have um, this diagnosis and these are the kids that um, your kiddos are going to be working with. Um, autism spectrum disorder includes autism, um, Asperger's, and PDD NOS. It's a lifelong uh, developmental disability um, and it affects one or more of the following areas, academics, behavior, or social interactions. It includes um, impairments in social interactions, impairments in communication, and repetitive and stereotypical behaviors. Um, for more resources, uh, there's a link. Um, I encourage you to check it out and um, your student to check it out. So we've communicated this following information with your students, um, but if at any point in time they're feeling uncomfortable or have concerns or questions about the class, the class expectations or behaviors of other students in the class, we really recommend that they reach out to either myself or Ms. Perkins just to get some clarification. Um, confidentiality is vital. If staff or others are asking about students, the peer mentors are directed to direct any questions or comments to either myself or Ms. Perkins. And we ask that peer mentors aren't talking about students within the program, outside of the program. Here's the peer mentor course description in our course uh, catalog for Rochester Community Schools. As an ASD classroom peer mentor at Adams High School, your student will have the opportunity to participate in a classroom experience. Depending on the class period, your student will be expected to support students within the ASD remote, as of right now, classroom for a variety of academics, ELA, math, science, social studies, or life skills. Two, students with ASD in the GE remote setting, specifically in electives classes, and three, attend community-based outings with the ASD program as scheduled. Um, currently, due to the virus, uh, no community-based outings have been scheduled. Um, some examples of things that we typically do, restaurants, shopping, trips, swimming. Uh, with training, your students will be expected to facilitate social interactions among students and follow the classroom positive behavior system. They're really there to be a friend and they're there to model um, positive behavior. There are a few assignments that go along with peer mentoring. In addition to participating and being present at the Zoom meetings, student um, peer mentors will be doing bi-weekly assignments. They will either be doing read and review um, reflections. Sometimes that could be that they're reading an article. Other times they might be watching a video or a TED talk and then writing a response. 
There's also a couple larger assignments that include an interview with a staff member, a multimedia presentation, and a reflection paper. More information about those assignments can be found in the syllabus, which students have already received and is posted on our Google Classroom. All right, a little more about community-based outings. As I said earlier, no outings have been scheduled, but typically on a typical week in a normal world, uh, we go on a field trip every Friday during fifth and sixth hour. Um, in order for your, your kids to participate, um, a permission slip is required to be exempted from fifth and sixth hour. Um, students use their judgment as to whether or not um, they can miss that class. Um, and if they are a fifth or sixth hour peer mentor, um, they sign at the media, in at the media center if they don't attend. Um, typically, we pair our peer mentors with a student. A typical day in our classroom. Um, so this is this is uh, all week. So first hour we do language arts, working with words and predictable chart writing. Second hour we do careers and life skills. Third hour we do math. Fourth hour, we do another block of language arts, um, guided reading, Retopia, writer's workshop, and um, some self-selected reading. Fifth hour, um, all of our students have electives. And then sixth hour, we do ULS, which is our science and social studies curriculum. If you have any questions or concerns, please feel free to reach out to either myself or Ms. Perkins at our emails listed there, nburge at rochester.k12.mi.us, or mperkins at the same. Thank you for your support and we're really excited for this school year.